Over the last two years, we've been researching the new, rare subtype of Japanese encephalitis virus that has caused the unprecedented outbreak in Australia. So it was around the summer of 2022, which was a very, very wet summer, and that created the perfect conditions for this virus to spread because we know it's spread by mosquitoes and wading birds. So there was lots of flooding, which created the perfect condition for this new subtype of the virus. We studied it in our state-of-the-art biosecurity lab at QIMR, and we learned that um, the impact on the brain that this virus could cause uh, was consistent with the seven uh, human deaths during this outbreak. So through collaborations with other groups at QIMR, we acquired 3D human brain organoids, uh, which can be called mini brains, which comprises human neurons and other cell types in the brain. And we infected these, um, the virus could replicate in these organoids, um, and it destroyed the organoids. So our research also uh, collected blood samples from human participants who received the approved Japanese encephalitis virus vaccine. Uh, and we tested their blood to see if the antibodies could uh, bind to the new subtype of the virus. And what we found is that it could bind to the new subtype of the virus. Uh, so this vaccine is likely to be uh, protective. Um, however, what our research showed was that um, a new vaccine targeted towards the new virus uh, would likely provide more optimal um, vaccine responses. So this is a 3D printed structure of Japanese encephalitis virus and you can see the, the um, very tightly controlled structural organisation of the structural proteins of the virus on the surface of the virus particle and this is what the antibodies that the vaccine produces binds to um, to kill the virus. So any changes in the structure of these viral proteins on the surface of the virus can affect how the antibodies that the vaccine produces can bind to the virus. So that's why um, targeting a particular genotype uh, would provide more optimal uh, vaccine responses. We've now got the tools through this research um, to develop and test new vaccines um, and our lab uh, through collaborations with Southern RNA, um, University of Queensland and Griffith University are developing new mRNA vaccines against JUV, which can be locally manufactured, targeted towards the Australian strain of the virus um, to protect the Australian population. Mm -hmm.